I welcome everyone to our third class for the month of August 2021 with the Buffalo Home Visiting Program PMS Group, the Parenting Memory Scrapbooking. Today we're going to be doing our two usual pay, two page layouts and the one card. So 10 of our participants are going to be receiving a package like this, where it's going to have the picture of what we're going to be working today. And on your packages, you're going to find all the materials already ready for you to put together. It's the minimum work that you'll uh, be doing. So on the two page lay on your two page protectors, you're going to have all the materials and also you're going to be receiving another dry adhesive. We are going to be doing first the two page layout and you're going to find the background. The size of the background is eight and a half by 11 page. Then you're going to find all the materials already. This is going to be a cutout of the city. The black mat is a five and a half by seven. A picture of that size can go in there. And also you're going to be having already in a sticker form, all the words that is the title of the page, laugh together and wishes. Also, you're going to have a pile of books. It's going to be on your second page layout. So I'm going to set it aside. You're going to have an apple. I already stamped on it. You are the apple of my eye. I'm going to have the leaf, another small apple. I already told you about the city and the med and then two small stars. And I believe that goes also in the second page layout. And the two mats yellow are going to go on your two page layout and the size of it is four by five and a half. So something smaller is that's where your pages, uh, your pictures can go. And I'm going to set that aside. So let's begin with your first page layout. It's very, very simple. You're going to get your adhesive. In my case, I'm going to be using my larger dried adhesive. And I'm going to place the black mat first. I'm not going to glue it down yet because I want to have I have I want to have a better idea of where I'm where am I going to put the CD, the lay the cutter of the CD that looks fine. So I'm going to put some glue, dried adhesive glue, in the bottom and put down the CD. If you have glue like this, you can always rub it off and take the sticky out or remove it. Remember the extra, you're going to cut it out, but don't throw it away because we're going to be using that piece of the city in the second page layout. So let's put that aside. Now I'm going to put back position my black mat and I'm going to get the words. You can put whatever order you want in the order of the picture. You're going to find left together and wishes. You can put whatever order you wish to put. Again, this is a sticker. So, and the glue is double sided. It's a double sided glue and it's pretty, pretty sticky. So you might have to be very careful so you don't rip off the words. Okay. This came out pretty much easy. So again, I'm just by eye, whatever area you want to put it, whether it's slanted, straight, however you wish. I'm going to get together out. Together. All these little pieces. And also wishes. I'm gonna take this extra little pieces out. Together.
you keep apart. It's okay. Where you can weed out this hard part. Then the last word is wishes. Bar. This sticker is good. Now I'm ready to put down the mat. And the first layout, first page layout is complete. To work on the second one, let's move forward. So let me get the other second page. Now we're going to be working on layout number two. And before we put it together, we're going to be coloring this stack of book that you have as part of your kit. So I'm protecting my area and I'm going to be using some crayon, um, color pencils. You can use crayons too. So I'm going to start Oh, before I start coloring. I like to draw first the pages. So I'm going to do it free handed. I don't care. It doesn't matter if they're straight, but if you're one of those people that like to have straight um, stuff, you can use your a ruler. But I'm just going to draw to pretend to make it look like they are pages. And in here, you might be. It might be hard. Might be difficult for you to see on the camera. Hopefully, you can see. This is where the cutting of the pages in so that's where you stop well, let me just emphasize so you can see what i'm talking about this is the end of the books again i'm just going to draw pages lines to make it look like they're pages this is where it ends this is where the stack of pages end you can put as many as lines as you wish and this one is kind of tiny skinny skinny book okay once i have drawn all the lines then i'm going to go and paint so i'm going to make the cover i'm going to press this to give the outline and fill in the cover of the books This blue. Oh, it broke. Let's get this other blue. Oh, 
orange. this blank. Let's get this red. Good. Now that you color your the stack of book, whatever color you wish, can repeat the colors. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Now we're going to proceed to put together page two. Okay. Remember the piece of the city, the leftover that got cut up from the other page. This is um, where you're going to glue it. I'm going to put some glue on it. You're going to put it at the bottom of the edge is extra we can push it in so that's part of the other city you're gonna get one of your mats and you're going to leave like a half an inch or a quarter whatever you feel comfortable with in the bottom very close to the city and this is where you're going to put the stack of books if you're comfortable with that place placement you can go ahead and glue it if not you can try to put the second one just to see if you want to move it around a little bit higher lower closer or you feel comfortable so that's where i want it i'm just going to put a little bit for now in case i decide to move it again And the second mat which you can put it here if you want or you can move it around you can also decide to put it landscape instead of portrait in the side or to the right side whatever side you wish in my case I'm going to leave it as the sample and this is going to be the same the title of the page you are the apple of my eyes With the leaf and with the stamp of the um, apple, you can, again, you, if you choose to color it, you can do it before you glue it down or later, it doesn't matter. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. If you wish to color it in brown to give some texture, same thing with the leaf. You can leave S or you can draw to make it look, to give it more dimension to it. And I put some glue. If you still have some of the wet glue, because you don't have to use a lot from the wet glue that um, I sent you back in June. So there goes my stem. I'm going to use the wet glue this time. Just put a little bit, you don't need a whole lot. And you can put it on top of it if you wish, or away from it or if you have a button or a foam double-sided foam just to raise it up you can also do that in this case I'm gonna put it a little bit off and then I drop one of the stars I'm ready to put the books the stack of books this extra adhesive this dry you can push it back no problem I got some extra here. Got this one of the stars. Put it on top of the book. And my other star, excuse me, went to the floor. And 
put a little bit of glue and set it down. And now page two for layout. Our layout is complete with laugh together wishes and you are the apple of my eye very simple now that we've completed the two page layout we're going to go and work on the card i just want um, to mention to you for the month of june we did an a2 size card which is uh five and a half by four and a quarter and we did it in a landscape and it was called Hello Friend. For the month of July, we also did an A2 size card, five and a half by four and a quarter, with the title Hello in these pinwheels. For the month of August, I wanted to do a little bit something different, and this is what we call a slim line, but this one is a mini slim line. So in case you wanna recreate this card again, all you have to do is get a, the base has to be six by six, and score at three six by six score at three and the technique that we're going to be learning today is uh, this slanted area so what i did i put a dot from this edge all the way three inches to to the right and then two inches down and it's going to be so you can see it better in this white example this is the base six by six. I score at three, and then I put a dot here at the mat at three inches, and then down here at two. And I unite it. You can draw it just to so you can have a better idea, or you can get a school uh, ruler if you don't have a um, score buddy or something to score with. And by holding the ruler right at the that point three and two inches you can start folding once you have the mark you can fold it back and forth use the ruler to reinforce the fold or if you have what we call a bone folder this is going to help make the bending a little bit easier so on your car you're already going to see the line that is already scored so you don't have to worry about finding the three inches in the and the two down you're going to get the a ruler to help your guy with that score to help the fold and you're going to be folding it back and forth back and forth or we'll use the same ruler to help and burn it burnish that fold i'm going to use my bone folder flying back and forth okay this is going to help this next step easier you're going to open it a little bit and you're going to push this fold in and if this is the way it's going to look again you get the ruler or the bone folder if you have or use your own nails or hands to burnish the fold now we can start putting it together your mini slim line. In your packages, you're going to find all the little items to put to decorate your card. This is a dragonfly. This is a sentiment. It's rare to find a friend like you. This is the grass, which I already put the two double sides uh, foam. This is gonna be the grill, the grill. And inside this package, you're gonna find two black rhinestones with two grasses and a piece of steak. This is gonna be the inside where you, you can write your messages, your message for the car. And this is a step that is optional with the dragonfly. So let's put this together and with the grass, let's begin with the grass. You can remove, you can peel off for the double sided, the peel off the, the sticker and open it up. It's already cut down and measured to the size so you don't have to worry about it. You put it down, you get your grill. You're gonna put some glue. This one, see it has that piece. I'm gonna take it out. And before I put the grill 
completely down I am going to look how far I can put it down so I can put the lid okay so it looks good here we're going to continue by placing the um, cover of the grill so you're going to put a little bit of glue here then sorry then you're going to get from your little bag where you're going to find a piece of steak i already die cut it for you and inked it you're going to have two bunches of of grass and two black rhinestone that's going to be for part of the sentiment so for the steak piece of steak some people like it rare some people like it well done i like it extremely extremely done and this is the reason why i chose this sentiment it's rare to find a friend like you so let's put it together already you can put it straight or slanted i like it slanted i keep dropping it sorry then i wanted to put two drops of glue and even though this rhinestone have already glue on it i like to reinforce it with the wet glue come on get in there there we go just to decorate the sentiment now with the grass again you have your choice to put it whatever area you want i'm going to put it here by the leg of the grill and the other set of grass on the other side of the grill now the outside of the card is complete in the inside you already have cut i already gave you the size up of the white where you're going to write your sentiment i'm going to use the dry making sure it's the right size okay the dry adhesive because the card is very thin and using too much wet glue can bubble up your paper so but i am going to put it like in the middle and this part for the inside you have this piece of green green um, paper and on this one i drew on uh, my sample you know yours is not is not uh, drawn on or written on it i drew this line so you can see what i'm talking about and with a uh, pair of scissors you can cut from this end to the other end right half right in the half And then you're going to like a puzzle make sure which size goes before you glue it you put glue in it make sure you, that you place it again this is optional if you want to decorate the inside so this is the way it is i'm going to put some glue it gives me some time to wiggle make sure that it is on the right spot before it sets And this is the other side of my inside. Get some glue in it, take it out before it gets stuck. Okay, now you have the butterf the dragonfly. So when you put your dragonfly, you're gonna put it halfway. And you're gonna put glue only only halfway of it. Don't put glue in the whole the whole dragonfly. And when you place it, make sure you don't go too high up because if you put it too high up then it won't close properly it, it will not help close the card properly again just put a little bit of glue halfway of the dragonfly i'm going to put it slanted so it's here at the edge of the score line and halfway down from the middle score line and close it 
once it's secure and then you should be able when you open it you see i'm not sure if you see it this way or if you see it this way and you see the dragonfly popping up when you open it so this is your complete mini slimline card now because of the shape of it i did the envelope for you and this is what you're going to find on your page protector something looking like this this is already score cut and score for you but again if you wanted to um, do it again recreate it you're going to get a piece of paper that measures eight eight by eight and i have an envelope punch board that's what helped me put all those score lines and the cut that you see on your envelope base. So on, for this one, it comes also with a bone folder and it tells me here on the table, it gives you the measurement of the card size that I need to have, the paper size and the score line in order to make the envelope according to the card. In our case, making this six by three, I looked, I looked it up here on my car size, six by three. Hopefully you can see better, six by three. And it's telling me that I had to have an eight by eight piece of paper and also put, align it to a three and a quarter. Or three and one quarter. I can hardly see this, three and one quarter. So I'm gonna find the three and one quarter mark, which is here. This is when I'm gonna align my paper and I like to punch before I forget. And then from here, I'm going to score. Again, I'm gonna turn it and align with this stick here where I just scored, punch and score. Turn, again, align it, punch and score. Align it for the last time punch and score and this is where I have my envelope now I like to have one of the edges is um, on the border is the it says reverse punch and this is helps give a, a clean corner to it so now that I have the base of the envelope now we're going to fold it so you're going to see how it's going to fit with no problem. This is the size of your mini slim line. So you're going to fold on the score lines and you're going to be having this, the one in the middle and this one goes up. So you have the choice of leaving as, as, as is or just by eye trim it. It's up to you. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this side of the flap. This side of the flap. And close. Wait for a few seconds for that to take. And your envelope for your mini, um, mini slim card. <laughs> is done it's a little bit thick again you can leave it as long or trim it if you want but i'm going to leave it long and this is ready to go again thank you for joining us and i hope you enjoyed this class for the month of august 2021 and i hope to see you for the next pms class for the month of september 2021 with two more page layout eight and a half by 11 and a car have a good day